Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast for everything movies, television, video games, and more. My name's Adam. I'm Oliver. And today is part two of our continuous podcast. Uh, after we watched not only Loki, but we have now watched Invincible season premiere. Super long episode, by the way. Yeah. Like Jesus. But damn, did we get a so lot. So fucking good. That was like so fast paced. We jump right into Mark about... Seems about, I think they confirmed. It was no, like he's eight fighting months. somebody. He's fighting yeah, somebody. But first. it's like eight months later where we are in the timeline. Yeah. But we get a Mark fighting a mortal, which is not the Mark we know. It's the Mark from the trailers that is. Is from a different universe. That's that paired up with Omni Man. Omni Man. And took over the Earth. And. Yo, they, they kill a mortal. Immortal gets fucked up. Take off his arm, break his arm, break his other arm. Cut off one arm, break his other arm. And then. Cut off his head, head. And then. <laughs> just fucking smashes his head ain't coming back from that and And immortal no more yeah and they're about to go and kill the rest of these people underground and one of the guys played by sterling k brown gets away in this portal and then they proceed to kill everyone else then we go to our main timeline where we have our mark who has now gone around and just like Saving people as much as he can, he gets to a point where there's some super villains, and he gets flashbacks of what happens with Omni Man because mm-hmm. I think in that moment he was about to fucking kill them, and he realized I'm not gonna get in the way. They got it under control. I'm not gonna deal with this because they're just gonna see me as my father, right? Kind of thing. So he flies off and he goes back home, and he tries to just to so civilization for since... a little bit of background. Yeah, he's basically crime fighting where he, where he shouldn't be crime fighting because it's considered. Uh, I I don't I want to call it house arrest in a from way. the like m- like the fury type of government self mostly self inflicted. Well, no, because he's not hired by him any or by Cecil any. No, but he also has his own like doubts and like holds back on things. So like it's both. It's like, he understands the government doesn't want him doing it, and he also doesn't and he want doesn't to do want it. to do it either. So he just wants to live a normal <laughs> life. He just wants to move on from this, and we get some more. And when, when we're in this alternate universe as well, also going back to the beginning, we also get different versions of all the characters, including Adam Eve, who has shaved her head and right. still seems to have had some kind of history with Mark. But Gets obviously somewhere – that's the thing. They never established what part – They didn't know did what it Mark was, turn but Mark to did Omni-Man. break her neck and practiced apparently on protesters to make sure that – He doesn't kill her, but keeps he her alive. But keeps her, she's paralyzed. Yeah, I just want to know like – I, I they'll probably explain it more in future episodes, but like where in the timeline did he change? Because he still has a history with these people, so like that means he did still join the team. It was at one point. It was probably like in that moment when Omni Man said, "I mean, Join honestly, me or not. if I was Omni Man and I turned my son, I'd be like, son, listen, lay low with these people for a sec and do what you can to fuck him up." Or get as much information as you can because well no because Omni Man's mission was just for Mark to get to a point of like knowing his powers oh true so well we it, uh, even Omni Man it, it had to have that. been in that moment when they were in the sky and he said join me or die I'm assuming that in this alternate universe he decides to join him instead of fighting him so that mm. was probably the pivot point so he still has all the history with Adam Eve. But this is just a little bit after he joins them a couple of months later. Yeah, Adam, yeah, and he Everyone's fucked up Adam. And, yeah, so like in six Eve. months, he fucked up everyone with everyone. his dad. Millions of people dead in yeah, that's crazy. a matter of weeks, essentially. So you you look at it this way, and now you get to Mark here, who is struggling with not trying to be seen like his father, but also has, I wouldn't say the anger, but the the thought process, mm-hmm. the same thought process as his dad of like, right. I could kill them and they're gone. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but he doesn't want to. He do doesn't that. want to. He knows he, he has knows the ability, that it's the but the easiest way to go about things. He doesn't want to do that. So as this is happening, then we have the Waller twins who are in prison, prison and they get let out by Dimension Man, which I forget his name. Um, Portal but- Man? The portal man. Basically, yeah. somebody who uh, summons portals through different dimensions. Yeah. And, and when he, he saves them, where does he twins. bring them to? He brings them he to. He brings them to a crater. Which is the same place that they were in, but in a different world. In a where, different like, world. The place so he Basically, this person has the ability to travel to different multiverses. And he specifically picked a crater because he knew that they were in jail in a 
below the, the level of an actual city. Angstrom city. Levy. That's who it Angstrom is. Angstrom Levy. Thank yes. you. And so that's why he picked that specific spot. And they pointed out the twins noticed that you had to be in this crater. You had to, to be get in there. this crater in order to get to where he wanted them to be. And they start walking and they noticed, oh, you have the ability to transport us. Why are we walking? Yeah. Because he can only transport two different dimensions in the place that they're in at. the yeah. place that they're at, not actually anywhere on the fucking planet. Yeah. Which I thought was actually a good take on it. Like that's it's a good limitation. It's a good limitation. It doesn't make him super OP. Yeah, he can't go to anywhere in time and space like Loki. He's kind of like going in the same exact place in a different point of uh, in a that different changes. dimension. That changes. Not in the same time, or not to a different time, but goes to a different dimension, but in but the same in, place. But he changes locations later. When? Well, later. Well, he just switches from one side of them to the other side, but it's still the same location. It's still, like, right there. With anyway, him. okay. I'm not he, talking about Loki. He just can't go to, like, a whole... No, I'm talking about in Invincible. When oh. Angstrom... Oh, yeah. He can't go to, like, a whole... He can't, like, be in Africa and go to America. Yeah, no. He has to be in the same vicinity. Right. So there's a limitation to his power. So the Waller twins are going to help him because he has found the rest of himself in other dimensions and wants all of their memories because in their worlds there's, like, cures for cancer and cures for war and blah, blah, blah. So he made a so, giant fucking crazy spinny roller coaster of a machine and put all of his variants put in it all of his variants in it and to have download all of their memories all of their memories with waller helping what the fuck so as this is happening invincible is working alongside some people and or alongside the teens and while that's happening they get a call saying like hey you have to go take care of this big like discrepancy that's happening well before that hold on he so uh, before that invincible does talk to cecil yes in a diner or restaurant. Yeah. And Cecil says he is not ready. No. He's not. Like, yep. just accept the fact. And he says, yes, I am ready. And slams onto this fucking metal table like his dad would. Yep. Out of anger. And he said, someone told me the same thing, which is his father. Or his dad. Yeah. And so Cecil just kindly, just he's like, dude, just wait. And he walks away. Mm -hmm. And then the scene pops up later on where... They need Invincible. Yep. And they're like, all right, suit up, kid. Yeah, like, we got no one else. Fucking, we got no one else. We're, we're short-staffed. Yeah. Suit up. So he shows up to this place, and the Wallet Twins are like, oh, well, we're going to fight. And he's like, yeah, I wanted you guys to say he that. He was really eager to fight. So he fight. started to fight them, and then that's when Angstrom releases the rest of the Wallet Twins from different Right, dimensions. from different universes. And they're about to... They start pumping. They are invincible. beating the fucking shit out of them. They're about to kill him. There was like eight, nine of them. And they're about to kill him. And then that's when Angstrom takes off the helmet. The helmet, which was specifically instructed not, not to, to do, do. And it fucking murders. And he fucking nukes them, the entire ex fucking building. Except for a few, except, but we'll get there. Yeah, except for a few. And Invincible. Because Invincible. He's invincible. Also, I put it... I, I didn't... They didn't, they didn't do the title card. At the end, they did. Did they? Yeah. Shit. I missed that. Because he's like, I'm going to kill Invincible. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. So after the explosion happens, they save Invincible. He gets back home. He talks to his mom for a little bit, about to make dinner, and then he gets a letter from the college, which was the uh, – uh it wasn't Utah. No, not Utah. You know – Utah. You <laughs> Utopian University? No, it's not Utopia. It's like uni... You, you, <laughs> uh, uni... 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 No, fuck. What is it? It's uni... uni uh, uva... Uba. <laughs> what is it called? I don't... I'm trying to find out. Can you type faster? Can you shut up? No. This guy. You... Uh, you... Oh, my God. Am I gonna have to look this up? No. Uh. So it is something. It's UU. That's all. Wow. That I was can't the find worst. It. I typed in UU University. That was the worst got fucking research you've got ever nothing. done. Nothing. Good. Got Keep nothing. talking. Keep talking. So Keep he talking. gets accepted to this university, and in this university, um, you he wants to be included with his girlfriend at the time, April, and he does. He gets. And accepted as as the she, so now they're going to college together. And at the end of that, 
we come back to that crash site and we see that Angstrom has survived along with one of the Waller twins who has burned half his body from what happened. And he finds Angstrom who has this huge fucking brain that goes all the way down his back, which is gross as shit. Super gross. Really disgusting. Yeah. And he wants revenge on Invincible because he remembers all of the other Invincibles that have killed multiple people, including people that he loved in all these universes. So now he wants revenge against title card Invincible. I got nothing. Yes, he told you. Fuck you. So we'll get into our full review of it in a little bit. But before that, here's a word from our sponsor. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist in their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off at your first month at betterhelp.com slash nerdlocker, and that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash nerdlocker. And we've also linked them down below in the description. Man, I can't believe how addicting Cinnamon Toast Crunch is. <laughs> right? What are you wearing? A shirt? You're, you're into scary movies, right? Kinda. Eh, I see it. Anyway, there's a sick brand that I know of. Um, They make a bunch of, like, horror-esque type of... Here, I tell you what, let me just... Better. Oh. I like that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. You know who makes that? Who? Seventh Inc. Really? All artwork, original. Whoa, that's yeah, a you cool. got a little little bats on you. But what about you? What about me? Oh. But what about your mask? Oh. Well. Get off the ad dipshit. I mean. These shirts are awesome, though. Like, they're really comfortable. They fit nice. Like, Honestly, this is like great. One at you. This is pretty lightweight. They don't shrink. And yeah. It's like, it's it just, like, come on, just look at me. This is great. You know what? Want to grab some popcorn and watch a scary movie? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> what the f*** was that? Congratulations. <laughs> Upstate, <laughs> Upstate University. Ah, okay. oh, sh sh I got it. Okay. Upstate University. Okay. Holy fuck, that felt good. <laughs> and we're back. Upstate, Upstate University. University. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, you. We had you. to look back at the episode. Oh my god, that felt so. I'm crying right now. That felt so good. <laughs> Are these real tears? Anyways, um, so they get accepted to Upstate University. Okay, so now know. we have Angstrom Le Levy trying to. Get Revenge on Invincible. Yeah. We have multiple like versions. real hardcore. There's going to be multiple versions of Invincible showing up at some point. We know this. Yeah, of course. And they're probably there has been some other. rumors. And these are rumors. And we've talked about this before. But at least in the comics, Invincible has crossover with Spider-Man. Right. Will we get animated Spider-Man? If we do, which Spider-Man do we I get? I think it's going to be an accident. And I think it's going to be Miles. <sighs> Miles, Peter B. Parker. Or Peter Ulti who? Peter B. Parker, the B, the Parker that we meet in. Oh, across, Peter B. That's how we dif differentiate him from everyone else. He says, um, "My name's Peter B. Parker," because Peter Benjamin Parker. They're all Benjamin Parker, right? But this that's specific Peter two. version. Peter two. No. Dude. Oh, Peter three. Bitch, across the Spider Verse, the guy with the baby that taught him everything. Oh, it's Peter C. Peter B. Parker. That's Peter C. I hate you. Anyways, Peter B. Parker could be the person, or we could get Spectacular Spider-Man, which was voiced by Josh Keaton, who What's came back from across with the Spider-Verse. Uh, it's not going to be Drake Bell. He is that's not going to. He's not no, going to come up. Okay, he's just dead. I don't think they're going to be bringing him into. He's the probably principal. dead. He's is he dead? No. Oh, he's got issues, legal issues, dead? just as bad as Jonathan Majors. Oh, he's dead. Sure. Oh my God, poor 
Anyways, Drake Bell is not dead, guys. Is he going to be okay? He's being an ass. <laughs> He's not dead. He just has legal issues. Anyways, um, don't dang. spread this rumor that Drake Bell is dead. Yeah, because they'll fucking believe us. He's probably dead. Anyways, uh, so we, so I think that's where we might get into, like, we might get a Spider-Man cameo. We're going to get other Invincibles. We're probably going to get other Omni-Men. Probably a good one. Probably a good Omni-Man out of all of that. Kind of you know, cool. all those universes, there's probably one there. Um, Would you cast J.K. Simmons as Omni Man in live action? Yeah, dude, that'd be fucking dope. But I don't. They're not. I know they've talked about doing a live action Invincible. I don't think it'll happen until after the. I hope. I actually hope it doesn't happen. I I I love the animation. It'll happen after. In this episode one, the animation's so fucking good. Oh my god, they'll do it eventually. It's so smooth though. Ugh. I don't know. You said you were having issues with the animation when we were watching it. You said no. I said I like. Oh no, there's some. Issues with the drawing in the background because you can the background's tell background's always blurred out. Yeah, no, 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 not all the time. There was a, a scene in the kitchen with um, Mark and his mom. Mark, no, uh, his mom and the lady, the Moscow lady. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So in the background, you can tell it was very clear, but it's not like which is well animated stuff. If it's not gonna be moving, it has very little mm-hmm. work to do. And I noticed that I was like, oh. Okay, and then the food looked weirdly detailed, so I don't know if an animator was really hungry. <laughs> Maybe. But then afterward, like, it got blurred out, and, like, it was it was impressively done, but, like, I could tell, like, there was not much work done in the background animation. Animation itself, the fighting, was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you rate this episode? Mm, eight. Eight? I'll say an eight. No, you have to go lower than me. No. I'm yeah, going to yeah. say eight because coming from someone that's read the comics, they're definitely going they, – they've changed – just like with Walking Dead, there's some things they're changing. The pace has to be different regardless of when you adapt because that's the thing. Like you can say like, oh, I don't want them to adapt it to live action, but like this has already been adapted from something else. So there's not – it's not impossible for it to get adapted again into live action. Mm. Like it's more than likely going to happen because the boys, right. how successful that is. Like right. Invincible, but the boys. Yeah. You could do it. Did it could be on Prime. It could still be on Prime. You see Gen V yet? Yep, I have. The f- All caught up? The finale ha- aired tonight. I have not seen it yet. Oh, shit. Fuck me in the we asshole. We will review Gen V next week as a whole uh, and let you guys know what we think for next Tuesday. Not this coming Tuesday. Not when this is released, but the week after. We'll talk all about it. We'll give our review. Fuck me, dude. I, I'm at the same point that you are. Yep. One more episode left. Yeah. All we right. got one episode left. Well, Thursday? Yeah, it's on Thursdays. So Everything's we have, on Thursdays. So, okay, so next Thursday is going to be... Huh? Loki and Invincible, is it? Season finale of Gen V was tonight. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, get out of my fucking house. I got okay. something to watch. <laughs> All right. Uh, So are you excited for the rest of season two? Yeah, I You think this is going to be... I mean, we only get four episodes, and then go on a hiatus. For, like, for Invisible? Bit. Yeah, invisible. Then, invisible, invisible for invisible. Yeah, no, they. I think they. Yeah, they go on a hiatus. I think it's January or February. It's one of those. Holy like, shit. Late January, early February. Is it gonna? I, so they're gone. And I the have holidays. the feeling. Are we doing the forty-five to forty-eight minute episodes then? Yeah. Oh, there's only eight. Yeah, so we'll probably get. So we have the rest of November, and then all of December off. I think it's most of January. I think it's like end of January, early February. One of the other. It just depends on like if something goes on delays. Yeah. But I think they're planned to come out at the end of January. Yeah. Then last four. Yeah. Uh, Stephen, uh, yeah. Stephen Yin. Yeah. If you want to hang out one day, just let Yo, us know. Yo, you are doing work, bud. And <laughs> Man, that's so fucking. I I love him so much. I can't wait to see him in the Thunderbolts movie. Oh Possibly my god. A century. All right. Anyway, yeah, we're done. Uh, you can find me on the Spirit Twenty One <laughs> on any social media platform, uh, except for Stephen Yin's. Uh, except or also TikTok. You can find me on uh, Oliver Con VA. And you can find me at AMR Photography. You can find the studio at Archangel Studios. And you can find this podcast at Nerd Locker Podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. See you guys next time.